how's it going? Short video here. Uh, basically, I'm going to be following up on the previous video. And I might have mentioned, or I think I did mention in the previous video, that I want to look at multiple subscriptions to the same uh, stream. Right? And in this case, the same stream happens to be the HCP Get here, remember? In the Get Players section. Now, if I come over to the component, we were subscribing, uh, sorry, up here. We were subscribing to this once, and that was it. But I mentioned, well, what happens if we want to do something else with the players, right? Not just assign them to the players collection here, but maybe we want to log them out or do, do something else, you know? How do we handle that? Well, there's actually two ways to do this, okay? One is the not so good way, and the other one is the much better way, okay? So, before I get started on that and how to show you that, the one thing I want to talk about here is something referred to as hot and cold sequences. Now, in RxJS, a cold sequence is basically a sequence of events that don't start um, putting data into them, or into the stream, until somebody does subscribe, right? So nothing happens, and basically then when you click subscribe, then the, the stream of data starts flowing through, okay? An example of this is a network call, or um, you have an array or something, and you're not gonna do anything with that array until you, you subscribe to it, okay? So that's considered a cold one. Basically, it doesn't do anything until somebody at least calls dot subscribe once on that, on that observable, okay? Then there's what's referred to as a hot observable. And what a hot observable is, is essentially um, the observable is already emitting data, uh, data, data. They're already emitting data, such as, for example, a mouse event or a, a, a key event. You know, if somebody's, or, yeah, a mouse event's a perfect example. You're moving your mouse around on the screen, you constantly got mouse move events, right? So that's constantly going in sequence. That's happening even before you have even wanted to create an observable on that. Okay, so that's what's considered a hot event. So as soon as I go and say, I want an observable that's doing that, data's already been pumped into it. So when I click subscribe, then you're just gonna get the information that's already there, starting from the point of which it's currently at. That's what's referred to as a hot observable. Now a hot observable is allowed or can have multiple subscriptions. A cold observable cannot, okay? So currently what we have here, we have a cold subscription. We have a network call that won't fire until we go dot subscribe. Now, I'll show you the first way of how people would try and consider to do this, and this is referred to as the cold way. If I want to subscribe to the same thing, for example, I can go var obs, go obs for observable equals this dot, Play service dot players, all right? And we'll just enter that. And then on the next line, we'll go obs dot subscribe, and we'll do what we're doing there. And then underneath it, we'll go obs dot. Oh, stop it. Obs dot subscribe again. All right. And then we'll go players. And I'm not going to handle errors in this case, but what we'll do is we'll go console.log players. Uh, yeah, players. All right. So in the first one that we're subscribing to, we are doing what we normally do. We display, we're basically going to bind to that this dot players, which will bind to the table. And in the second one, we're just going to log it out to the console. Okay. So let's go and see what this does. So we'll come back over to the browser. And we'll open up the console. And what have I got here? Currently is an error. I think I just need to resave this. Because it looks like the error is related to a previous problem. Observe on. Duplicate identify. Observe on. Have I got observe on somewhere in here? Observe. Observe. 
Okay, so I don't know what happened here, but it's added those. I don't want those. Uh, so let's just come back over. And now it's all working. So we got the table. And if you look down here, we've also got the array of objects. So you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. We, we've subscribed twice, we get the same data. If I refresh, it's the same data, right? And you're like, well, what's the problem with this? This seems to work fine. Here's the problem. If you go to the network tab, it's called the player's API twice. Why? Because what it's doing is it's executing from a cold start each time you click sub subscribe. So we've gone subscribe here, we've bound to this, so this has done a HTTP call, all right? Then it just kind of forgets about it until we ever execute this again. Then we come down again, we go dot subscribe once more. That's another cold start. So it goes back to the network again, gets the players and then logs it out. So this is very inefficient, obviously. We've got to play network calls. So, how do we fix this? Well, we have to convert this cold sequence, which is this network connection, we need to convert this to a hot sequence. All right? And what that will do is when we try to convert this to a hot sequence, it will no longer be an observable, which it is here, all right? It will be what's referred to as a connectable observable. And a connectable observable means you can basically set up multiple subscriptions on it. And then finally, when you're happy, you fire off this connect method. And basically, then it will go and go and get information. Okay? Because that's like saying, for the first time, we're going to go and get the data out. It's the, the best way to look at hot and cold um, streams is to think of it in terms of watching a movie versus going and watching a game, you know, a football game, right? When you're at home, you can watch a movie and you can watch it a different movie to somebody else and or you can watch the same movie but at a different point. That's referred to as a cold stream because you aren't watching it at the same time as somebody else. You're just watching it on your own. Now, take away the the ability that two people are watching the same movie at the same time. We're just saying two people watching two different movies. That's what's referred to as cold observable. A, a hot observable is when multiple people are like watching the same game in the same arena at the same time. Okay? So that's the difference between the two primarily. Um, there's more information. I'll put it in the link. I'll put the links in the description on more of what that means. But essentially for the purpose of this, that's how we're going to look at it. Okay? So, what we need to do for this to make it um, a hot observable is we need to basically publish this. Or it's referred to as a publish. And we, so we're going to go var, we go, I'm just going to put hot equals obs dot, all right? And we're going to call it publish, okay? Now, publish is something we have to import and as like all the other ones, it's very similar. Uh, oops, it's rxjs slash add slash operator slash publish. Oops. So it's all very much the same. And we save that. And now let's have a look at the state of this is. This now becomes a connectable observable of type basketball player. So what this means now is we can now subscribe to this connectable and nothing will fire at this point. Now, the other thing you need to know about these um, connectable observables is that this connectable observable is a proxy for the original observable. So whenever we connect here and we're doing the subscriptions, we're really subscribing to the underlying observable here, okay? It's just that this connectable observable acts as a proxy through to the original observable, okay? Then under here, to make this all work, so at this point, if I go and I save and I go over to here, you'll see nothing's happening, all right? We're not getting a network call, the, but the screen's not um, changing, and the console's not populating from anything at the moment, okay? And that's because we haven't connected this all up yet. So 
we've got the proxy now we want to actually make sure these two are connected and then we want to actually invoke the network call and to do that we just go hot dot connect like so and if i save this this will now start publishing the network call through to these two subscribers and as a result you should see only that one network call in the network tab all right so now we've got the table down here we've got the list okay but more importantly in the network tab we have just the one call okay and that's all i wanted to show for this video i know it's not much um i'm going to in the next video show more um methods and things that you can do to data streams in rxjs um, when it constitutes angular there's so much more you can do with the with the reactive framework it's ridiculous and it does have its purpose not just in javascript applications but in other languages as well so i encourage anybody who wants to read more to go and read all the reactive stuff but for this particular example where we're just trying to get stuff from a network basically i've turned the cold stream into a hot one had multiple subscribers and then we've connected them, we've connected it all up and remember the publish says i want it. this basically converts the cold stream to a hot one and then from there we can use that proxy to subscribe things and then connect ties it all back down to the original observable okay and i'm going to leave it there um I'm, obviously i have not got this up on any github I'm not going to put it up on any GitHub because really there's not any major reason to do it. Because for my example, I wasn't interested in logging out any console information anyway. So this can all be undone. Okay. And if you guys are like, uh, don't remove it yet. Well, rewind the, vi rewind the video and look. Okay. So that's it, everybody. Thank you for listening. And... In the next video, we'll look more at RxJS, and then after that, I'm going to move on to directives, or I might potentially look at some other services that could be in Angular. I can't remember if there's any major ones of worth discussion at this time. I think there's a router service that I think is important, but we'll probably look at that when we talk a little bit more on routing. But I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm going to go out now and do something a little bit more fun. So enjoy the video and thank you everyone for subscribing as well. I'm really loving it. I think I'm at 372 subscribers now. I'm trying to aim for 2000 and then in the future, I'm going to try and publish more backend related stuff, you know, especially cloud related stuff. Cause at the moment I'm working in a company with AWS that's using AWS. So I'd like to do some examples around that if anyone's interested. Anyway guys, I am definitely going to go now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.